Peter Jasek, born in an era of horror and upheaval, chose to move to a new land that initially dismissed him as a refugee with meager prospects. But Peter possessed something of enormous worth, for in his own words, he was rich in spirit. Through sheer determination, Peter Jasek became an exceptional business success, a legendary philanthropist, and a fierce advocate for preserving Ukrainian culture and language. At Peter's birth in 1921, Ukraine had been dominated by Poland and Soviet Russia for decades. Struggling to gain its independence, much of the country endured years of famine and Russian rule through the 1930s. Millions of its citizens perished. Then came the war. Waves of destructive invasion swept across the country. First, the Russians, followed by Nazi Germany, and, with Germany's imminent defeat, the Russians once again. Peter and his country had witnessed enough disasters for a dozen lifetimes. Returning to Ukraine, which again found itself within the grip of Soviet Russia, potentially meant execution or shipment to a Siberian prison. Peter chose Canada. Like many of his countrymen, Peter arrived with feelings of both unease and opportunity or, as he put it, I found myself in a free country, free to live or free to die. I did not understand the rules or the structure of this society. But there was nothing to be afraid of because I had nothing to lose. Landing in Montreal, he rejected Canada's policy of sending Ukrainian immigrants to Western Canada as farm workers. Instead, he journeyed to Toronto, where he found work in a dairy and on a railroad. His first business venture was shared ownership in Arca, a popular Ukrainian bookstore. But he had bigger dreams, bigger plans. His ambition was to build something that would benefit large numbers of people and last for generations. Stepping away from the bookshop, he invested in a company manufacturing custom doors and windows. The business struggled, and Peter knew why. The future, he reasoned, lay not in one-of-a-kind windows and doors, but standardized components for builders who were busy meeting Canada's post-war demand for new homes. He would start with windows and doors and move to building whole neighborhoods and communities. His ambitious goal could be reached only by overcoming a hurdle that had nothing to do with funding or legal restrictions and everything to do with anti-immigrant prejudice. Over the years marking the end of World War II, immigrants such as Peter were labeled as displaced persons or DPs. Being branded a DP was an insulting term, and among Canada's immigrant population, no group suffered more prejudice than recently arrived Ukrainians, whom one official described as unimaginative, industrious, conscientious peasants suitable for work that required strong backs and weak minds. Peter Jasek helped destroy that particular myth. He did it with determination and by following a basic principle throughout his business career. Nothing, he said, can replace straightforwardness and honesty in dealing with people. And it worked. Thanks to his tireless energy and honesty, he built Prombank into a residential and commercial development success. Beyond providing comfort and security for him and his family, Peter's business acumen and increasing prosperity enabled him to launch and support a large number of causes in Canada, Ukraine, and elsewhere. He began by funding the Encyclopedia of Ukraine, his first major philanthropic venture, and an authoritative source for scholars, diplomats, and the general public. 
From there, he lent his support to Harvard University, raising funds to establish three permanent chairs in Ukrainian studies. Later, he launched programs within the Harvard Ukrainian Research Institute and served on the prestigious Harvard Visiting Committee, advising university management on Ukrainian studies, topics, and issues. He supported Ukrainian studies at New York's Columbia University with endowments for Ukraine-related activities and at the University of Toronto, where he established the key program for the study of Ukraine. He also funded the Petro Jacek Central and East European Resource Center at the university's Robarts Library. At the University of Alberta, Peter granted an endowment with provincial matching funds to launch the Center for Historical Ukrainian Research at the school's Canadian Institute of Ukrainian Studies. By financing the English translation and publishing of Khrushchevsky's History of Ukraine Rus, he helped proclaim that Ukraine constituted a nation and was not an adjunct of Russia. The complex work fixed Ukraine's identity on the world stage and, with suitable timing, its final volume was released in 2021, marking the centenary of Peter's birth. Peter Jasek took both pride and joy in providing research grants, doctoral fellowships, and other ventures in support of Ukraine, including the establishment of the Petro Jasek Lectureship at the University of London, his generosity reached out to a range of pursuits close to his heart. They included the sponsorship of festivals and the restoration of heritage sites, as well as financial assistance for the construction and maintenance of an orphanage in Brazil, and so much more. Through it all, Peter's heart ached for Ukraine, where Russian political and academic leaders still lectured Ukrainians on the inferior nature of their language claiming it was spoken only by peasants and making youthful Ukrainians embarrassed to speak their own language. This was intolerable. In response, Peter sponsored a nationwide contest promoting the use of Ukrainian among students, rewarding those who expressed themselves well in their native tongue with substantial cash prizes. It worked superbly. The number of young people involved in the contest mushroom to an estimated 5 million by the program's second year. The contest's success demonstrated an important feature of Peter's support for Ukrainian causes. He sought not warm words and window dressing, but practical results and improvements, goals he reached over and over again with every undertaking. His generosity over the years was recognized by many who benefited in many ways, and in many locations across the globe. Many of the activities he founded, both in business and philanthropy, still function and flourish today, creating positive opportunities for countless numbers of people. Peter's actions on behalf of Canada, Ukraine, and other locations represent the measure of a man who, while overcoming barriers to success, considered himself rich in spirit. He was indeed. 100 years after his birth, Peter Jasek's achievements as an immigrant to Canada and as a dedicated advocate for Ukrainian language and culture continue to inspire people in both countries, as they may for yet another 100 years. <laughs>